Hi, welcome to this new other video tutorial on Jasper report. Today I'm going to show you a small demonstration on how to use a scriptlet written in Java in the Jasper report studio. So in order to do that, we are going to divide it into two parts. In the first part, we are going to create our script using a Java editor and then here we are using NetBeans and later on we'll try to embed that uh, script library in our Jasper Report Studio but before we kick off at the end of this tutorial you are going to get something like this where this hi this is my report my first GR scriptlet is written is taken from our scriptlet. So, without a further ado, let's go to our NetBeans. Here, we are going to create a new project. And remember, because you want to create a right scriptlet that will be used by Jasper Report Studio or our, our Jasper Report, we need to make call to the Jasper Report engine. And in order to do that, we need to add some uh, dependencies jasper report dependencies in our projects and the best way to do this one chosen here is to create a maven project and let maven manage uh, the dependencies so let's create a new project maven project on that pins in your it can be your uh, eclipse scs or any other editor out there feel free the procedure should be the same so here we select maven and here java projects then we go to next maven here we go here we call it maven java scriptlet maven java scriptlet 01 here is the name of our projects and here is where we save it, the directory where we are going to save uh, our projects. Then we go to finish. So our project is uh, successfully created. And because this is a Maven project here, we make use of two. Uh, XML file. The first one is the setting. This is where we are going to connect to our Maven repository here. So by default, because I've already added this one, if you are in your NetBeans, you don't have, please feel free to add your preferred dependence, your preferred uh, mirror, where you are going to uh, download your dependencies from Maven. Here I use a central repository and here you have a look at that. I have already created some many other tutorials, many Maven projects where you can also see. I will also add the link under these descriptions where you can also copy it. But feel free to add this uh, repository by using the following mirror. And then next, because um, we need to make uh, we need to make use of uh, Jasper Report uh, engine. We need to add uh, uh, Jasper Report dependencies here in our project. So, and in order to do that, what we do now is we go to the POM, and here we are going to add a list of dependencies that are needed. Here is the one that I have already prepared. You will also a link will also be added to the descriptions to some of my previous uh, script available in my blog and here we add the dependencies here and as you can see here we use uh, version 6.80 and these are some dependencies that we use with exclusions right then we stop here <coughs> and
and just after we save it here our dependencies will be populated so we save it so maven here great has already downloaded everything that we need then the next thing that we need to do now is to create uh, our script and for that we need to create here we call it hello scriptlet 01 finish and here is our class and we need to extend the gr just per report default come auto complete yeah it will come just for default scriptlet class here yeah. this is what we get we are going to extend this class here so we extend it then and this uh, here we are going to write public string we call it hello and right we return hi dude here is my first gr scriptlet gr scriptlet right uh, okay semicolon right then we save it so we save it here now what we do we can clean then it is successful here right successful clean up everything yep we are there build success and we also build with dependencies <coughs> BAM is also successful. Here we are good to go. So building a jar in our jar is located under this target here. This is what we need, right? You can just remember this jar is what we are going to import in our in our projects. And if you want to see it, you have to go. Uh, we have to go here to our projects folder here is the one we go to the target and here is what we need so we take this um, part here then now last step here is to go now and create a new blank project getting slow here now next we call it my script let Zero one. We go to next here. We add uh, no database. 
then finish Right, what we need now is we need the title Here in the title we are going to write Introduction to Java Cryptlet in Jasper Reports Here we go We go here, then we don't need uh, this remaining, we don't need this field, we don't need all this, we can just clean empty field, we don't need these bounds. Right, so we need the header. So right now the next thing that we do now is we go to styling we call it with this one we go to style with this and we centralize it okay then now the next thing that we need to go now is to go to our script and here create a new scriptlet and here we call it scriptlet01 and here we select the class Uh, we select this class now before going to this class now let's save it then <coughs> right click our project uh, report we right click our report not there I think it should be here we right click this Ooh. We right click our projects here, go to the properties, and then here we are going to add the jar, external jar. This external jar should go to the path of our project folder. Remember, here is our project folder. You want to call it directly so that when we build it, it is. We don't need to change the path. So, here is where our jar file is located from NetBeans project folder. We select that. We apply and apply and close. Then we save it. Now, coming back now to our script now. We can uh, add the class here is from my previous projects. We are going to also try to call hello. I think this one is the new one, scriptlet 01. We select that now. If we go to parameters. We can see our scriptlet appearing here so we can take it and directly drop it here will it go yeah then we have a new field which is created we can expand this one expand it again go to the styling center and we need to add some nice fonts here here is the font we add 20 is too much we add 
too much we add 16 right so if we go now and double click when we go and double click we are getting now into this if we go to the parameters of course we can see it better that here our skillet is here we could also select it from here right and here remember the name that we pass here it was hello so we can pass we can write hello here which is returning uh, a script a string so we can add to string right hello to string this is what we want to return and show then finish we save it and now if you go to preview Oh, cannot resolve time right if you got this error now don't worry what you have to do is uh, to close everything then save your projects and now close the studio and on the studio it's loading almost there so our studio has been reopened yeah now if we try to preview it again Bam, here is our scripted here, it's coming successfully. So in this tutorial, I've shown you how you could uh, at least write a basic script and add it in your project. Now feel free to do it up to you. In my next video tutorial, I will try to go step by step to advanced features like passing parameters, connecting to the database or trying to play with different logics that may come up. So I hope that with this tutorial you have learned something and now you can, you can path, pave your way forward to implement the logic in your project that you want to do and I, if please do not uh, forget to like the video, subscribe it in order not to miss a future video tutorial that I will post on my channel and if you have any questions do not hesitate to drop your comments that says stay tuned bye